after that. It was two nights there. Mm -hmm. And then we drove just a short drive over to Blue Ridge, Georgia. And, uh, and I'm good, by the way. I do not need to do an evacuation phase, but there is the... There is that, the Hardee's. That is the Hardee's. In case you're wondering about that, Hardee's are now the places are our rest areas. That is where we go <laughs> to take a crap, is Hardee's. So, and I will keep why that is for, for a later video. So, uh, Blue yes. Ridge. Blue Ridge. So, yes. So then we drove over to Blue Ridge, Georgia, which is another historic town. Um, and we stayed at the Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge Family. Blue Ridge to Co. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Co. To Co. To Yeah, whatever. To River KOA. Yeah. So <coughs> we already know that Lookout Mountain, Chattanooga West was your favorite. So, what did you think of Blue Ridge to Co. 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 Koa River right. KOA. The Blue Ridge KOA is yeah. brand new. It's a well, it's a year old. Yeah. So the bathrooms were very nice. Uh, mm -hmm. They had a code to get into them. I'm not sure why. Yeah, that was kind of. I don't know if it was because they rebuilt that that annex for the college next door. So they didn't want like you know drunk college kids no, coming no, no. over. But yeah, everything had a key code. The gate had a key uh -huh. code. Uh, what else? The, 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 the bathrooms had a key code. The laundry, laundry. had a key, key code. So, yeah. It was kind of, but they, they were very nice. Yeah, very nice. Um, what what you'd expect from a nice KOA. Yeah, they, I mean, they, to make it, they took down all the trees in the acreage. Yeah, so there, was, that. there was no shade. Sorry, yeah, there was no shade yeah. except for, for us, we were way in the back, which is a whole other story. We weren't supposed to be way in the back mm -hmm. of the property. But because we were way in the back, the trees, 5.30 at least, we started getting shade. Where everybody else was still baking in the, in the Yeah, sun. because they didn't leave a single tree. They planted new trees, new but trees. they're baby trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, But we were discriminated against. We were. We were. It's the first time we've been as tiny campers without a crapper that we were discriminated against. Falsely. Falsely. Because you know me, being the engineer I am, I looked it up. So, do you want to tell a story? No, please. Okay. Because it makes me angry. Makes you angry. So, we show up. It was Commander Cindy's. Birth 35th birthday. 30, 35th birthday. Yesterday. And so we show up. So we decided. And Kona's And first Kona. Thing. Kona back here. So we decided, hey, here's what we'll do. I'm, we're going to get a, one of the super, super sites. With like the twin concrete patios, the concrete, you know, site. <coughs> you have a gas grill, Adirondack chairs, a separate patio with chairs with a fire pit, and all this kind of stuff. And it was on the river. And it was had access. You just walk you know, right out the back of your campsite to the river, to the oh 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 river. And I'm not really sure why. I don't Raise know my either. Hand. I think it's because I'm like going, thinking like Dance with Wolves and Tatanka or something. I don't know. Okay. Don't know. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So we get there. We're checking in. And, of course, they can look out and see, you know, the trailers parked out front. And so they see Voyager and all of a sudden they go, oh, you don't have a bathroom. Well, yeah, we're, we're a tiny trailer. It, it said we're 14 foot, you know, in the... And she so, oh, well, you can't, what was it? You can't, we can't have you stay farther than 200 feet away from the bathhouse because of Georgia code, the health department. And, of course, all so you think about this. Okay, I don't have a bathroom in my trailer, right, in Voyager, and you want to keep me close. And, so you say the code is that I have to be within a certain distance of a bathhouse. Which makes me think that the health inspector is thinking that somewhere between Voyager and the bathhouse, I'm going to go out and take a crap out in the woods. Woods? There were no woods. We just told you there were no trees. So, so, of course, the lady who was actually checking us in, luckily she was very nice and she funny. Very, she was very and, pleasant. And, yes. and smiled and... And, and joked at all, all of our stupid stuff we had to say and listened to where we had been and all this. So it made the check-in process a little nicer that she was there. They still gave us 
a deluxe site. We just didn't have the Uber Deluxe, you know, on pat, the river patio on the river. We had river access, um, which everybody shit had river access. It's the KOA that's on the river. I mean, um, anyway, it's okay. So, you digress. So, still had a nice site. They put us way back in site 69. 69. <laughs> and so, nice site, nice place, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that was that. We felt like we were basically discriminated yeah. against because, of course, I go, I look up the Georgia code. I mean, I'm literally the code, you know, GA twenty five point two four six blah blah blah. What it says is, is they have to supply for every ten sites that don't have. Sewer, so they had tent sites also. Only so, three. Right, only three. And then and every other site had sewer. Yes. The Georgia Code said that if for every ten people that don't have access to sewer, right? So their own right crapper and their trailer, that you then the trailer, right, people have to supply a certain amount of bathrooms within two hundred feet. Well, of course, they built it so that way the tent sites are within 200 feet. We're not a tent. No. We're a trailer. If we choose to be 200 feet away, which doesn't make any sense because then you go to a state park and you're like, oh, uh, I'm sorry, you're against code because that tent site is too far away from the bathrooms that are eight miles down the effing trail. <laughs> so, I just don't, i be honest with you, I think they had big rigs there, big class A's, right, you know. All the people who make it look like they have money, but they're actually really poor, right? And they just didn't want a little tiny trailer stuck in there. That's mm -hmm. that's my take. Because they kind of had the two casitas too. Yeah, they did the two casitas that were there. So, and so of course we walked. We would go walk around. I know we're sounding very angry, but I was very angry. We were at the time, but we would walk around going, "Well, they don't have it, and they're farther away from the bathroom. They're." they're farther than 200 feet away I mean well, so and I would say 30 per 35 percent of the people right. who were in regular right. size I would call them regular size campers right, right. were going to the bathhouse yeah they were yeah right exactly yeah so so it's like you know so it's like oh well they have the option of taking a crap in their trailer but they're going to the bathhouse well I'm sorry if they're not taking a crap in their trailer then they have the same opportunity in that 200 feet or whatever when they walk to the bathhouse to go, you know what? Site 42 right here looks really nice. We and should. then the health inspector's like, oh my God, we can't do this. Oh, I mean, it doesn't, it didn't we make sense. We should move on. We should move on. We should move on. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with it. <laughs> it just uh, felt a little... Yeah, not right. So, well, and not only yeah. that, but the, uh, the KOA felt very... Impersonal. Impersonal. Bland. Bland and impersonal. The river was beautiful. The river was beautiful, and the workers there were nice. So there was mm -hmm. Brandon, who was nice, and Rhonda, that was nice. And then we met Mike and Lisa, because the people checking in that heard us complaining at the counter when they told us we couldn't have our super site, they were literally in the site next to us. And he was a Navy vet, and they were traveling because their son just graduated from Navy boot camp, and yada, yada, yada. They had two dogs, the Kona. They just loved to play. We'd go have a play date at the... Oh, there the, was a nice dog park. There was a nice little, little dog. Little. In little, but grass. At least they had grass. And it would be really nice once the new trees grow up. <laughs> right? So... But the town of Blue Ridge is beautiful. It's such a quaint yep. little place. Yeah, so let's talk about To Blue walk Ridge around... Stuff, yep. Um, we went to a great brewery called Old Men, a uh, old, uh, grumpy old man <laughs> brewing, which was perfect. Which, which is you. perfect for this, which is perfect. Yes. A really great beer. And you found, oh, the grasshopper, the grasshopper command city. It was an uh, imperial IPA, wasn't it? I don't know. It was just an IPA and it was, it's IBUs or like 80. So 85, I, I think it was. 85. Oh, it's my new favorite. It's my new favorite I, IPA. I mean, it's actually my new favorite beer. Now you had a nitro stout, so it poured like Guinness. That well, was, they were both the same stout, but one was nitro and one wasn't. Yeah, to get that, to get yeah. that, to get the. It head, was really good to get the head because you know. Well, it was a Guinness, but with a little extra punch because it was higher gravity, right? And it had a little more maltiness to it. Yeah, yeah. 
So we did th we did that. Uh, went out to an orchard, bought some apples. They're actually right behind oh, me. Oh, delicious! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're good. They're good there. Uh, yeah, they're there. There's the apples, and they're really good. They're good apples. They're juicy. I like juicy apples. And we went out to eat, but it wasn't that yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, went out to a little bar and grill out at the little Lake Marina thing. So that was, but it, you know, it's traveling through these small towns and going these places. Uh, I thought the world was weird in 2020. The world's much weirder now in 2021 because now the small businesses, they're not getting help. They are limiting services, limiting times, and we like to travel during the week. And so there were so many things closed and basically they just said, we're closed because we don't have staff. Mm -hmm. It wasn't because of supply chain. I mean, they'll still provide you what they have. Yeah. Right? But they they just didn't have the people to do the work. So it's, it was very interesting. It was a beautiful for nature and what we did and going out there and Tullahoma and to the Rail Patrol Glider Contest and then, you know, going to see these places and all that. It was a great trip, but it was also very interesting to see how the world now is, uh, is, 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 is so different now but there's also at blue ridge there is the blue ridge scenic railway oh yeah that uh, we decided not to do that but i don't think it was open when we were going when well we and it also was not dog friendly oh what well, yeah okay so one, well, it's not kona friendly so uh, but the we've done the smoky mountain scenic railway out of bryson city which is up by murphy that we talked about early so we felt like we didn't really need to do another training and we've ridden a bunch of trains in Germany and Europe, so. Colorado. Colorado, yep. The Durango Silverton. Mm, that's good. Might have to do that again sometime. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's our that's our trip. So, we're now probably about just about 30 minutes or so away from home. And yeah, it was a good trip. But, one big conclusion based on this trip. And that conclusion is State parks are better for us than KOAs. Main reason is we want to camp and we want to feel like we're camping, not in having, the middle of a city. Yeah, not hanging out by a fire by Voyager. We want to be in more in nature with the history, mm -hmm. you know, the hikes, the the lakes, the birds chirping, and all this kind of stuff. So yes. that is that is a big conclusion for us is that we like the KOAs, we like their amenities, yes. we like their location, we will continue to use them. Well, especially if you have kids, the KOAs have amazing amenities. Oh yeah, absolutely. They were showing, at the Manchester Care, they were showing movies. They had a movie night. Yeah. So that was cool. So. But yeah, so that's kind of the, the conclusion is that we're going to go back and do uh, state parks for a while but then between Thanksgiving and Christmas of this year we have an epic Voyager mission that is going to take us oh I don't know how many nights I don't even know three or four weeks so, yep all the way to Las Vegas and back hitting a whole bunch of the Oklahoma to Kingman Route 66 stuff and, and national parks and then taking a southern route through Arizona uh, to hit some of those um like Big Ben and Sororo National Park. But in and, November. And but yeah, but we got another state park coming up. State, yeah, yeah. State park trip coming up. Yeah, that we're gonna do too. So, but yeah, it's been a Commander Cindy. It's been a great first long, I say, distance long duration. Yeah. Voyager mission. So thank you. Thank Happy you. birthday. Thank you. And with that, we shall say bye.